Hey, good afternoon guys. So, just ordered a three-in-one laser cleaner. Gonna do some cutting, some welding, some laser cleaning with it. But first off, questions go. I wanna be ready day one, my laser shows up. What do I need to be prepared to start working immediately? I don't wanna, you know, have to go out to the store six times. I don't wanna be surprised, no games like that. Say, Pascal, what do I need day one to be successful? Well, let's go through it. So I've got my machine here right in front of me. We're over at the laser now. You know, what do we need to know? What do we need to have on hand ready to make this machine work? Well, you're gonna need a power cord or a plug at least. You're gonna need the plug. Your power cord is gonna come with three bare wires. It's gonna come with the ground. It's gonna come with the hot. It's gonna come with the neutral. That's it. So if you don't know what wiring diagram looks like for one of these style plugs, you've got a, your ground going up top here to your round one. Then you go a hot on either side. You're gonna put your neutral on the other one. You don't have two hot wires on this, so that's the way to wire it up. That is what the factory said. I did clarify that with them to be sure that I wasn't miswiring it. So what else are you gonna need? Well, right here, you've got your coolant gauge, you've got your coolant fill spot. So you get four gallons of antifreeze, coolant of some sort. I use Amsoil, cause you got a premium machine, cost you a lot of money, put premium coolant in it it's not that much money comparatively so what else so i didn't like the wheels that came on mine so i had a i built a frame for it put some bigger casters because i worked out of a trailer so i could be in gravel i could be dirt be a lot of different scenarios and the machine just doesn't roll well on gravel or anything like that it sinks in and you get to the back side of the machine you might be like well what's this little red lug here for well this red lug is a case ground you're gonna need a section of wire for that, and it's gonna be wired in. I wired it in just straight to the plug on my machine. If you have a ground bar, you can wire to that. The machine's stationary, wired into your bus, your ground bar, at your breaker panel, whatever you wanna do to make that work for you. Additionally, back here, you've got your air regulator coming into the machine. So this is gonna be the side that comes out of the machine, feeds up all the way through your gun cables and everything. And so that side's gonna come on it. The other side here, you're gonna have this piece of cable. You're gonna need a little bit of cord. It's quarter inch water, uh, like water softener or fridge water line cord, simple as that. Then you'll need to go buy a fitting for that. And then you'll need it to be threaded to be able to go into an air chuck assembly of some sort. Cause this is where you're gonna connect your air compressor in and that's gonna keep all your debris away from the nozzle on your lenses. And it's gonna make your lenses last a whole heck of a lot longer. You're not gonna be burning through them wondering why is my consumable rate so high? So you'll need the chuck, you'll need your piece here, and then you'll need some Teflon tape in the middle there to make sure you don't have an air leak. Um, really, that's all you need to know to be up and running, you know, day one. You gotta have your airline set up. You gotta have your wire to your case ground. You need your plug in, you need four gallons of coolant. And I guess if you don't already have an air compressor, you'll need one. I tried to run this three gallon 0.6 uh, or one third horsepower compressor from Harbor Freight. I got around $70. Um, it doesn't, doesn't quite keep up with the machine if you're doing continuous uh, cleaning. So that's something to note. I would get something that's, probably minimum six gallons if it's got close to like a 0.8 horsepower um motor on it it's because if you stop getting air so you run uh your tank out of air and your machine can't your compressor can't keep up with the air that you're pulling out of it then you're gonna overheat your lens and then your machine's gonna stop and when your machine stops now you're at a standstill and you're waiting for it to cool down you're waiting for your compressor to build up so I'm gonna put that compressor over in my shed for mower tires, car tires, stuff like that. And then I also had this 26 gallon air compressor here that initially I wasn't gonna use in the trailer because it's a heck of a lot bigger. However, that works wonders. That outpaces the machine's needs. So that's gonna be what's in the, in the trailer with the laser, the generator, everything. And that is just what's gonna work best for me. If you can get away with a smaller air compressor, absolutely do it. All right guys, so that's pretty much everything you're gonna need day one to be able to get this machine operating. Yes, in addition, you're gonna need a pair of safety glasses. 
that are rated at 1064 1080 nanometers uh, somewhere around there uh, for their safety rating because if you don't wear that proper eye protection it can actually cause burns to your retina which you're not going to feel like a normal welding burn where it burns your cornea you're not going to feel that at all you're just going to eventually notice your vision's deteriorating your vision's gone bad and you can't fix the retina damage so be smart get you a good comfortable pair of glasses that you're going to want to wear that you're going to keep on your face and that's that you can probably skip on about everything else uh i would put premium cooling in you can get away with the cheap compressor for to start with i would get protect your eyes get a decent pair of glasses you can get a cheap plug for your cord. A plug's a plug's a plug. You don't need to go buy the baddest plug you can find. Uh, you know, you can buy cheap Harbor Freight uh, air connectors. You can buy fittings. They'll hold. You can make them hold air, no problem. So that's gonna be it for this video. And the next part, we'll go in. We'll start uh, with basic cleaning on the machine. We'll get. Uh, we'll assume that at that point you've got the machine up and running. You've got power on and you're like, well, now what?